All right, so every once in a while we get a game or a shooter specifically that can survive and not just fall off in three weeks, but a lot of them don't. Hyperscape, Zelda Experts, Hyenas. Hyenas ain't even made out the beta. They're saying that about X to find that's what's going to happen in that game. And there's something that's been around for like ever. I mean, CS2 just happened, but CS was like, I, I can't remember when that game actually came out that's how long it's been around and say what you want about cod but cod been around ps2 but like as far as the game like not falling on flat on its face as soon as it drop like a couple things it needs the main thing is like the it factor like when apex dropped it was like the movement if you play time ball 2 it wasn't like the craziest difference but like it was still different than anything else that was out and which is how the gunplay felt the finals is the fact you can blow any and everything up literally level buildings fortnite in the beginning was the fact that you could build in a battle rail that was like a crazy thing now it's just a list of things they got everything in that game battlefield with like the big team battles it ain't really nothing to look at right now but you know a lot of the battlefield are bigger games like battlefield 4 people still play that to this day but like for a modern game another thing is just prioritizing the content and like the mechanics of the game over the profit now prioritizing it is wishful thinking have a balance of like content to just purely money making and with that you're gonna have to communicate with the community one way or another maybe not even direct communication just like make it obvious that you're seeing what it is people want like if you drop a patch for a game and it has the stuff people was talking about. People will realize, like, oh, they, they actually listened to what the fuck we said. They addressed a problem with this gun or something. There was, like, a crash that kept happening because of this specific thing. Stuff like that. Like, you can't be 2K. If there is a change that community wants in 2K, it takes about four games for it to happen. They can do that because they have a monopoly. They got a strangle chokehold on people that play 2k and same with madden and fifa probably but with shooters there's no monopoly yeah cod is the biggest one but people still like to play other games in that too so you can't really do that but the next thing is solo playability if the game ain't any fun to play alone it just makes everything worse because reality is some people just will not talk in game chat some people just won't have friends on all the time to play with like with battle royales the solution was a solo mode it's pretty you know easy solution like warzone and fortnite pubg they all have solo mode the only one that doesn't is apex which is still kind of wild but the finals kind of has this problem where if you don't have teammates it, it do get pretty shitty sometimes this one more so depends on like what type because if it's like a extraction shooter it's i don't think it's as big of a deal but for team games i just think it should be the casual modes the ranked competitive modes if it's a team game yeah it needs to be team focused in the ranked modes but just have like a more solo playable option in the pubs but still have the team modes in the pubs too and the very last thing not, you just need a little bit of luck at the end of the day you don't know if a game gonna do well till it drop unless it's caught then, you know they gonna make their fucking money everybody else you don't really know and every game that's out and lived past a month has done this in a combination of ways better or worse and looking at all the games all the shooters that was out in 2023 it was actually a lot more than i thought initially but i put them all in a tier list from s tier all the way down to could have been records that video is right here and i made a few predictions about games that's supposed to drop sometime soon i'm not gonna say in 2024 because you know delays happen left and right but enjoy that bye